sorry. <laughs> I've been shooting for like four days. How wide, like all, all body? Okay, yeah. You don't, okay, cool, let's go. Hello, welcome to my show. The moment I got in front of that text, it, it just felt like we never left. It was amazing, you know, it felt like we were right where we left off, but in a strange way with more clarity. When you come back to a role so much later, you catch yourself being a little bit more mature, you know, and in a strange way, understanding a little bit clearer what you were trying to say in the first place. We're back together after all these years, and we never knew the character was gonna have the incredible reception and the fan base that he was going to have. We had no idea. So it's just like a full circle moment. One of his iconic lines is, the world is on a diagonal. I am the balancing point. And it's a character who, who, is, who is a drug addict, you know, who's someone who's gone really, really deep into drugs, who's introspected himself in very, very violent ways and sort of pushed the limits of human behavior and done a lot, a lot of bad things. I think always driven by the sense of something is wrong in the world, something is wrong within me, and is a character who's willing to go as far as possible to try to understand it. And in doing so, sort of loses himself. And I believe um, in this game, we start sort of trying to understand what that journey in his head feels like. The character of Voss is something that I co-created with Ubisoft and that really came from improvisation. And the improvisation, the answers and the stuff that I was doing in the improvisation came from things I was doing back in theater school. You know, they came from jokes and little things that I picked up and, and you know, like taping of the fingers. I had a mohawk at the time because um, it was kind of like the fashion, you know. And um, the, the character was really like a, a mosaic of a lot of, like of my childhood, of, of um, the energy as a child, you know, that I remember of being able to jump on tables and run under couches or, or you know, kind of hang on couches or whatever. So I, I think the character really is something that's really close to my heart, that childlike kind of like, hello and welcome to my show. You know, it's gonna be a great day, you know, kind of thing. That to me is the core of the character. Jumping out of airplanes, flying like birds. <laughs> that is crazy. I like this form. This is a nice fucking form. It's not the anger. It's the, it's the inner child underneath it all. That's the character. He's really not trying to hurt anybody. And his, his understanding of pain is completely like, just not there. He, he doesn't speak to himself politely, doesn't speak to others. He's, a, he's destroyed. He's a guy who's completely gone. So they say to me, they say, Voss, Voss, who the fuck is it going to be? Them or me? Me or them? <laughs> but underneath it all, he's a human. And before it all, he's a child. And with Voss as a character, if you go back to the child, you immediately find the character. And in the downloadable content, there are moments of real vulnerability. In me. Hello, Vas. Citra. Are you finally ready to be what I need? No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of my head. Where the fuck am I? And um, I think the ugly side of addiction and the ugly side of a person like that where it's painful, you know? Not that, not that I'm trying to um, uh, justify the character, but the character I, I, I don't think is, um, it's not literal. Don't take it literally. You know, like the killings and the, it's not literal, it's symbolic. I feel very responsible not to put something out in the world 
that's just violent for the sake of violence, you know, but that has a journey to it and an odyssey to it and, um, and the possibility of a positive outcome if the player chooses to. His weapons are not just guns, they're ideas. He's playing with ideas that are dangerous. He's juggling like ideas like grenades. You know, it's not what your island can do for you, it's what you can do for your island. You know, it's, uh, the, I'm the stain of blood on your white wall, the allegory of the cave. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, oh, expecting shit. shit to change. That is crazy. He's juggling these like profound, big philosophical ideas that he seems to really understand w alongside with, I love mangoes and I want pussy cheeseburger and a cigarette. What is it, Jason? Jason, what is it? Why aren't you laughing now like you did up there? What is this not fun anymore? Have I failed to entertain you? You see, the thing is, up there, you thought you had a chance. Way up in the fucking skies, you thought you had your finger on the pussy trigger. But hermano, down here, down here, you hit the ground. I think it's an in innate nature of his to search. I think he's a searcher, he's a seeker. And I think he's a kind of a person that would have a lot of trouble wearing a suit. He wouldn't, he would look at the tie as a noose around his neck. Yeah, he'd look at it as, why, what, are, what is this? Why are you putting this around my neck? Why is it so tight and buttoned up, you know what I mean? If the planet wasn't fully explored, I think he'd be like a, a Phoenician, you know, like a, get on the boat and try to do commerce with whatever's on the other side of the ocean. An adventurer, you know, someone who, is looking to go into the dark where everyone is afraid and is looking for answers. So whatever, whatever profession that would be. Far Cry 3 is a game that people um, stop me in the streets for all the time. You know, it's like boss, you know, it's like, it's such a um, part of, of people's um, pop culture experience, you know, when growing up, you know, eight, nine years ago. And uh, I remember going back to theater school in Montreal um, this year. And I was there to surprise one of my teachers. And it was after school and they were kids rehearsing in one of the rooms. And they saw me pass by and they ran out and they said, you're not going to believe this. We're rehearsing the definition of insanity monologue for tomorrow. Do you mind kind of watching us perform it? And I was like, this is so crazy. You know, you, you see it does stuff like that to people. So you feel responsible to just give everything, give your heart to these people. Have I ever told you what the definition of in Sanity is. Have I? <laughs>